Hello friends, this is Arun and uh, today we will talk about uh, how to change the background of uh, image. So this is the final image that I have got uh, by putting so many layers with the image. Uh, this is the final result that I have got. Uh, then I will show you the image that the original one that is this is the original image and uh, this is the result that I have got. So this is original and uh, this is uh, the background I have put on this portrait. So how I do this thing in the Photoshop? Let's see. So let's do uh, how to do this effect, uh, this type of uh, work in the Photoshop. So I have two layers. The uppermost is the background that I have to put uh, this layer to back of this person and uh, uh, this is the main layer of uh, my project uh, actually this layer is smart object and then uh, i will right click on this and uh, rasterize this layer and uh, move it to this uh, this uh, layer then uh, uh, i want selection for this uh, portrait so i will choose click marks Tool from here, click mask tool. Uh, there are two way to uh, selection uh, of this image. For, uh, you can do outside from this, uh, or you can do inside from this portrait. So selection. I will uh, do from the outside. Then uh, this way. Control Gent. Sometimes it is a uh, <laughs> little bit uh, difficult because of uh, the tone tonality of this image is same all over the image. So I will try from the inside of this portrait. Let's see how it works if I do it from inside. If you have more time uh, uh, with your project, you can do same thing with the pen tool and uh, later on you can, uh, by using pen tool then you can put your uh, pen tool as a selection. Then I will hold Alt key on the keyboard. Then it is uh, showing this is uh, negative. Then you can deselect this area. Actually, these two both areas merging. Okay, I got the selection. Uh, similarly, on this way. Now I will zoom this photo. The shortcut for the uh, zoom in photo is. Uh, Control and plus button. Then I will. Uh, I want to remove this portion. Remove this uh, selection from here. Minus. Then, if you got this type of problem, then you can press Control Z. Then we get the same selection as the previous one. Sometimes it is very very difficult. I will start from here. Then again same problem. I will increase the size of this brush. Then once click on this. Okay. Now leave everything as uh, web click. Then click on this area once click okay this is working then uh, small size I want press hold key then single click again 
zoom in because uh, these two areas merging and it is a uh, little bit same so i can do that later on in this part okay i got the selection and uh, you can do it from here okay now i will control zero now i got the selection now i will check out the whole portion around face around the turban of this man there is a problem in the selection and uh, this part also okay once click this area and uh, mm, okay now i got the perfect selection for this portrait then uh, i will go to select then save selection the save selection is uh, is very useful whenever you take a selection for image that is uh, very difficult and then i have uh, uh, saved the selection and later on i can got uh, from this uh, preset so then i will go to selection again and uh, and moreover you can go to refine edge how refine your ed these edges and uh, small radiuses i want to play a uh, little bit of uh, radius i want to upgrade then uh, smoothness around 9 i want then uh, Feather you can set to two point two. One point nine. Then okay. Now we'll control. I uh, will press control J. Then now the this is your selection. and uh, this is the background image i will take a new copy for this and uh, and hide this and control t so i will set this background to whole part of this portrait this is now this is so i have set uh, the background of this image and uh, little bit i want uh, uh, there is merging point i want so i will do another thing uh, as you can see this that uh, i have put the background of this portrait and the problem with the image is that you can see a white line uh, around the behind of this portrait so i want to remove this line and uh, i will uh, again go to my selection and then go to refine edge so i will uh, hide this portion and hide this then again i have click uh, i have saved my selection as a portrait so this is the benefit to save the selection then uh, the, you go to select select part then go to low selection then portrait uh, make sure you have choose this layer and uh, then again go to refine edge uh, because uh, i am doing same thing with the uh, different way uh, my background is little bit black or uh, you can say uh, more shadows are there and so i will firstly put uh, set uh, black background then uh, set this then i will go to smart object smart uh, detection smart radius i want uh, around 43 as uh, you can see the line behind this portrait is now not available and uh, smoothness i want uh, around 5 and uh, moreover feather i want 1.9 is sufficient contrast little bit i want 1 I will check more setting five. Five is not working. Uh, only one. Uh, 
you can shift edge i want only minus 1 then then click ok then i will now again press ctrl j to take a copy of this selection ctrl j now this time i will check i think uh, now it is uh, more perfect than uh, now i will go to the i will delete all this layers this one also now uh, the problem with the image is that uh, this portrait is a little bit of uh, high temperature and where the background is little bit cool so i will uh, set it to cool portion then i will go to color balance then uh, i will word click and you will get this arrow button because i want uh, this color balance effect on this only on this portrait so mm, color balance make sure you are in the mid tone and uh, a uh, little bit I want minus 8 then plus 8 for this then minus 3 you can see the difference this is before and uh, this is after and a uh, little bit I am getting uh, this cooler tone and then uh, now I will choose uh, shadows shadows same thing i will do minus 3 minus 4 plus 3 so you can see the difference this is before and uh, this is after and uh, the temperature for uh, portrait and the background is around the uh, same so the background is set to this portrait now uh, it is looking that uh, the portrait is not uh, merging with the background so i will do uh, another thing i will take a copy of this layer then i will set it to the uppermost then i will set this blending mode to soft light and uh, you can check also on the, like uh, overlay overlay then set the opacity to um, around 29 then i will check soft light also i think this is working better for this image um, so this is the case okay so this is uh, working better for this image that uh, all image is uh, very beautifully set on this background so in this way you can do your portrait work and you can set your background with the image that you want. If you take more time with your image then you can get a better light. So this time I will merge all these here because I want more contrast around this portrait. So I will merge all these layer by pressing Ctrl, Alt, Shift, and E. Then you will got a uh, single layer by merging all these layer. Now I will go to this uh, level. Then I will increase the contrast for whole image. Then. Uh, now i have this layer having now i will take a selection to remove the portion black portion from here especially then uh, i will fill this selection with the white with the black portion so you will get the portrait as behind then uh, double click on this feather set to maximum maximum feather 
I want then uh, set the opacity to 41 38 I think 38 is working this is before and this is after uh, the effect of this layer is to get the more black part around the image like you can say vignetting moreover you can do more experiment with this, with this image uh, so I hope uh, you all have liked this video so thank you friend keep watching Arun's creation thank you friends